So, um, Secretary Blinken, there, Tony, welcome to NATO headquarters. Thank you. It's really great to see you here. And uh, you have decades of foreign policy uh, experience and uh, national security experience. And uh, I know you have a strong personal commitment to NATO, to the transatlantic bond. So, therefore, I really uh, appreciate this opportunity to welcome you on your first uh, visit to Europe to the NATO headquarters. Um, we have um, now a unique opportunity to uh, start a new chapter in the transatlantic uh, relationship. And I strongly welcome uh, the Biden administration's message on rebuilding alliances and strengthening NATO. That is what our NATO 2030 initiative uh, is all about, because we face uh, great global challenges, Russia's destabilizing activities, the threat of terrorism, cyber attacks and nuclear proliferation, disruptive technologies and the rise of China, and the security impact of uh, uh, global warming and climate uh, change. No country and uh, no continent can face these challenges alone. Not Europe alone, uh, not America alone, but Europe and America together in uh, NATO. And our meeting uh, today uh, will be an opportunity to address how we strengthen this bond as we prepare for our summit in Brussels later this year. At the summit, we will set an ambitious uh, transatlantic agenda for the future to reinforce our unity and solidarity and ensure we remain strong both as a military and as a political alliance. To broaden our approach uh, uh, to security by strengthening our resilience, preserving our technological edge, addressing the security impact of uh, climate change and working more together and to take uh, a more global approach by protecting the rules-based international order which is being challenged uh, by authoritarian powers like Russia and China. So we have a lot to discuss. So uh, Secretary Blinken, Tony, once again, welcome to NATO. You are here not just among allies but also among friends and therefore so much welcome to NATO. Secretary General, Jens, thank you so much for your very warm welcome. Uh, I do want to start, uh, before we actually begin, uh, by expressing uh, my own horror at the violence that occurred yesterday in Boulder, Colorado, and offer my deepest condolences um, to the loved ones of those who were killed, including uh, a law enforcement officer. Um, having said that, it is a pleasure uh, to be back at NATO. Uh, this is actually my first visit to the new headquarters, uh, my first time at NATO as U.S. Secretary of State. So again, thank you, Secretary General, for hosting all of us today. We very much look forward to a productive uh, couple of days of, uh, of discussions at really a pivotal moment uh, for, uh, for the alliance. Uh, I've come here uh, to express the United States' steadfast commitment to that alliance, which has been the cornerstone of peace, prosperity, stability for the transatlantic community, for more than 70 years. Uh, and I've come to Brussels because the United States wants to rebuild our partnerships first and foremost with our NATO allies. Um, we want to revitalize the alliance to make sure it's as strong and effective against the threats of today as it has been in the past. Secretary General, our conversations over the, the next two days will cover, as you've noted, a broad agenda. Uh, including NATO's ongoing mission in Afghanistan, our regional security efforts, in particular in response to Russia's aggression, and NATO's 2030 agenda. We share the Secretary General's vision of a NATO that has the capabilities to deter and defend against all manner of threats uh, to our collective security, including threats like climate change and cyber attacks. Um, I'm very much looking forward to these conversations. I'm grateful again to you, Jens, for your remarkable leadership of this institution, and very happy to be back at NATO.